All right, so we are over at Bixby Park. It's like my favorite place to skate. Cherry Park is what most people know it by. Um, but this is like the section next to the skate park that I usually session at. And today we're working on some contest runs. So uh, if you know anything about me, I'm kind of a crazy person when it comes to preparing for competitions. And to be honest, in recent years, I've gotten a lot more lax about how I go about practicing. But for the sake of a video, for the sake of showing you how I usually operate, I'm gonna show you my fives. Doing my tricks for my contest run five times in a row and going through the entire run in order to practice consistency and flow and all this stuff that you need uh, to be able to pull off a two minute routine for a competition. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start to finish with this. So we're going to start off with the first two tricks of the routine and then move our way down, doing five in a row of everything. It's like the most tedious, mind numbing thing of the whole uh, process, but it's worth it. You get your consistency up. the wild card of the the contest run kickflip catching regular stance which is like the wrong stance for me I'm used to catching it fakey and then front side revert which is a trick I kind of battled like recently in a video but I never really like got it down so let's see if I can do five in a row chances are I'll do like two or three in a row max but on contest day maybe I'll grow a pair that's it that's what I wanted to say Save spins for the next time. Done. Hit. Oh. So in a nutshell, that's what it looks like when I'm doing competition prep. There's a couple of important reasons or, or like benefits I get from doing my prep this way. It's mind numbing and it's just freaking exhausting and frustrating at times. But for one, being able to run through a routine like that helps your endurance. It sort of pushes you beyond the usual like exertion of a two minute routine so that when you're doing two minutes, it doesn't feel as long. And lastly, I don't have a whole lot of time to work on contest runs. I I'm 
constantly either editing or working on Walt stuff or doing illustration work now. So the time that I get to be out here, I need to really try hard uh, if I want to focus on consistency and getting tricks dialed in. Otherwise, I end up just kind of like pitter-pattering and, and dorking around and doing a bunch of footwork. And at the end of the day, that's fun, but it doesn't pay off when I get to the contest and I suddenly can't do half my tricks on command. It helps me stay regimented uh, when I have to be as a like professional skateboarder or whatever. I don't know. Um, but that's about it in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed this. Got to see me struggle like crazy. And uh, if you want to check out more of these, feel free to subscribe. And uh, check out what we're doing at Waltz because uh, I'm really stoked on the product we have right now a bunch of completes and we have mode wheels on decks again which is super cool because when i first started waltz we had mode wheels on our boards so uh keep dancing i'm gonna go home and sleep forever now Ooh, or get lunch lunch